world is now constructed to amplify toxicity? You know, every time you turn on your mobile device, the TV, listen to the radio, it's, it's be afraid of this, be afraid of that. There is an emergency with the government, the environment, with a disease, with airplanes falling out of the sky. Just saying it makes me want to go into protection mode. I'm Ann Willis, and I'm the owner and founder of Delatere Skin Care, and I want to accelerate your knowledge in the area of toxicity and how your body responds when you are confronted with negative environmental signals. Well, naturally being knowledgeable and having the right coping mechanisms will allow you to be better equipped to make decisions that will lead to being the best version of you, a healthy version. So let's begin with the fact that your body is actually wired to either select growth or survival, which is protection. A nutrient will trigger positive signals and that encourages growth. Toxins, on the other hand, trigger negative signals and that will threaten survival. So cells in the body are always drawn to positive signals and moves away from toxins. So why is this important? The answer is simply this. When confronted with an environmental signal, the cell has to make a decision to be in growth mode or to be in protection mode. Why is that relevant? Well, because when a cell is in protection mode, it stops growing. The more protection we think we need, we shut off our growth mechanism. And therefore, we inhibit our ability to heal for some, it may even be to be ageless. Now environmental signals may be outside of the body, such as the use of dryer sheets or you know, Roundup for killing weeds or chemicalized personal care products or even processed foods. The other environmental signals that are physical can be byproducts of waste or die off created by the body during a fight or flight moment. When these byproducts don't get properly filtered and eliminated, they become negative signals. And then the biggest assailant of them all is our perception of life, and thus the emotional body. Fear stops you from growing, but when you are living in love, you grow. You may think that nutrition is the most important growth promoting signal, but in fact, it's love. And most importantly, self-love. So in order to grow and to heal, we need to reduce exposure to toxins that force our body into survival mode. And I'm not going to tell you what to eliminate in your life. That's your choice. Hopefully you're aware of what they are. So what other environmental signals put us into survival and protection mode? Stress. As I stated earlier, our world is constructed to amplify stress. So what is the body's response to stress and what can we learn from that response? Well, let's say a bear is chasing you. And in today's world, being chased may be, you know, stressing to meet a deadline or rushing to get the kids to school or just trying to make sense of the world around us, which is becoming increasingly harder and harder. So what part of the body helps us gauge and read environmental signals into the mind? It's the hypothalamus. The hypothalamus lies at the center of the brain and it helps you to determine whether you are receiving a positive or a negative signal. Well, a negative signal means stress and it's going to signal the pituitary gland. The pituitary gland sends out stress hormones to get you into fight or flight and it activates two parts of the body. The, viso, the viscera, where all the organs are located and its main function being growth. And the second is the bones and muscles, which are for support and protection. When I get into fight or flight, am I going to get into my viscera or am I going to use my muscles to survive? I'm either going to run like heck or put up my fist and fight. So here's what happens. The hormones released by the adrenals cause the blood vessels in the viscera to squeeze and to push the blood to the peripheral arms and legs. When the muscles are fed, they can get ready to fight or to run. 
The issue with this is if I take the blood from the viscera, which is all about growth, and I send it to the muscles and the bones, which is protection under stress, you shut down your growth mechanism. Also, your immune system is a protection system, but it doesn't protect you from bears or work deadlines. It protects you from bacteria and viruses that get into airways and under the skin. So the adrenals are for protection against things in the environment that threaten you. So if you are running away from a bear or a PTA administrator, do you think you need your immune system? In fact, when stress hormones elevate, it actually shuts off your immune system. When you get under stress, you are not only stopping your growth, you are also shutting down your immune system. Let me say that again. Stress shuts off the immune system. So where does the lymphatic system come in? Well, I stated earlier, it is the heart that pumps the necessary blood to the limbs for potential fight or flight escape plan. The stress receptors in the heart have the job of processing the stress signals and then getting rid of the waste products from the signal stress. Those waste products are drained in the heart's lymphatic vessels. Once it's filtered, it is then pumped into the circulation by the heart. If the lymph system is congested and the stressors just keep coming, soon there will not be an, an, enough available stress receptors in the heart to cope with stress. And this causes stress on the heart and the lymphatic system and ultimately will affect health and it will alter skin. Over time, the inability of the heart's lymphatic vessels to drain the waste products of stress may cause more undue stress and lymph congestion or swelling. Excess blood flow ultimately obstructs movement of lymph system and causes swelling. And I don't know if you've ever noticed that when you are under a high level of stress, your extremities swell. I, I notice that my you know, rings will get tighter, or my shoes squeeze my feet. This would be a good indicator for you to monitor your body's ability to respond to stress. Just check out those extremities. So the combination of stress and a sluggish lymph drainage make for the perfect storm for health issues and even various skin abnormalities. So approach life knowing that your body is designed to constantly repair, rejuvenate, and heal. Naturally creating opportunities for the body to grow, this will mirror that awareness. But where, where do you begin? Well, my professional recommendation is to start by reducing the activity of your sympathetic nervous system. This is the branch of the system that speeds that heart rate and it constricts those blood vessels and it releases stress hormones. It's the system that makes you react to everything. And this is where everybody is trapped. Your focus should be to increase the activity of the parasympathetic nervous system. This is the branch of the system that slows the heart rate and it relaxes the body's inner system. Keyword is relax. Now, to achieve this through self-care, I recommend engaging in inhalation therapy with one of Dolatare Skincare's Herb Rich Mist. You know, taking the time to breathe is vital. But using a tool that will help you to shift into that quieting the sympathetic nervous system and activating the parasympathetic nervous system is a wonderful way of reminding your body to leave survival, you know, for the things that really matter in life. So let me introduce you to the collection. Comfort's Mist helps to calm and to relax anxiety. You can just spray it above and breathe it in. You know, if you're starting to feel irritable about something or restlessness, um, it really does help. And it's great for sleep difficulties as well. Now, Rescue Mist, it helps with fighting off the feeling of being really angry or helping to cope with frustration and feelings of being taken advantage of. Support Mist helps with the feelings of anxiety and stress but more promoting mental clarity so that you know how to really cope with the stress around you. 
Purifies um, is our last introduction here, and this is really great to help you feel um, uh, really clear about things and, and to remove all that mental clutter that weighs you down. Purifies Mist will help to cleanse a lot of negative emotions away. Now, the company offers all four herbal mist in this unique product collection. Um, and we just launched it this year. Come, the, each bottle comes in these great little uh, travel sizes or carry sizes. And you actually can receive this gorgeous carrying bag as a free gift when you purchase those. Now, Purifies Mist is one of Dolatera Skincare's toxin tamers for spring. It contains organic burdock, which will help cleanse away airways. Uh, it also reduces inflammation in the airways uh, that can lead to histamine reactions. By breathing in the natural elixir, you also support digestion. Now, Purifies Mist also contains fennel, uh, which clears loose mucus from the nasal and bronchial airways. And this will help reduce like sneezing and itchy eyes, which is really prevalent during the spring months. Now, besides inhalation therapy, we also recommend drinking the Dolatera skincare teas as a calming and restorative effect on the body. Um, they come in also the four different formulas. And this is a very gentle shift uh, that will happen or occur with the body. Um, it's very subtle, but it's also very, very profound. So when wanting to reduce toxins and waste, the recommended health and wellness tea is the Purifies tea. It contains nettles. It's an extremely nutritious herb, um, and it will provide support to your really your overall well-being. It also uh, limits the impact of histamines produced by hay fever, such as sneezing and itchy eyes. It is considered a blood cleanser, um, meaning it helps to maintain a healthy fluid balance in the body. And nettles is also supports the body's cleansing, helping to wash away, of course, and cleansing away toxins and waste. Dandelion is included in this blend, and that helps to lower an allergy attack from pollen, and it helps to lessen any kind of hive reaction you might get. It will mildly stimulate digestion and elimination. So I recommend drinking about two to three cups a day. Now self-care is a vital aspect of self-love. And it's an essential practice for taking care of your daily activities. However, resetting your health and managing the effects that environmental signals has on your body, it can only be achieved through professional treatments. So I have directed Delatere Skin Care in the development of three professional treatments that will reduce stress, improve respiratory disturbances, relax the viscera, encouraging growth while improving lymphatic drainage, so the peripheral can return to health. The Delatere Skin Care Toxin Tamer series includes three detoxifying treatments, and they're received in three separate sessions. The first treatment, we start with a detoxifying herbal body wrap. Now this helps to prompt the body into a real deep relaxation, and it also will help release toxins and waste from head to toe. The second session includes the gut instinct treatment, and this focuses on restoring a healthy environment for the viscera. This treatment helps to clear congestion of the stomach and the intestines while improving lymphatic drainage. The final session is the Dolatera Skin Care Knee Deep in Health Treatment, which includes a foot soak to help with body aches and pains, and it even helps in respiratory issues. The soak is followed by a mineral-rich herbal clay pack, improving the conditions of lower limbs, lymphatic problems, blood circulation, fatigue muscles, and sore feet, all that occur when we're in that fight or flight mode. Now these treatments will provide real solutions for health and wellness concerns, and they are available at the Dolatera Skin Care Destination 
Clinic and Spa located in Asheville, North Carolina. Individuals will travel from all over to visit the Dolatare Skin Care Clinic and Spa so they can address many of the concerns that I discussed today. So remember, when you are confronted with environmental signals, the body has to make a decision to be in growth phase or to be in protection phase. My advice, approach life knowing that your body is designed to constantly repair, rejuvenate, and heal. If given the right resources, it will rebound. Creating opportunities for the body to grow will mirror that awareness, and that can be achieved by engaging in Dolatare skincare products and treatments. I want to thank you for participating in today's webinar. I hope you took some good notes that will help you make the right decisions for your well being. Uh, you are welcome to contact our office for a consultation or direction on how you can support your wellness and well being with Dolatare skincare products and treatments. The company also has affiliates throughout the US that we are more than happy to refer you to. So if you like what you've learned today, be sure and subscribe to the Delatare Skincare YouTube channel for more educational videos. Again, many thanks for joining us and cheers to health and wellness.